How we doing everybody? Um, today going to be doing another knife review, overview, impressions, whatever you want to call it. Um, this one's going to be a little bit different. Uh, just going to make a quick side note, if I sound a little bit funny, it's because I'm a little bit sick. Um, I actually called into work today, so uh, trying to make you know some use of my time. Anyways, so uh, today I got a, uh, not two day, but a couple days ago I got a new knife. Um, I actually got it in the mail right before I walked out the door, so I did get a chance to carry it at work. Um, perhaps not maybe the best place to carry this specific one, I'll talk more about that later, but yep, it is indeed Benchmade, of course it's going to be reading backwards to my camera, I say that all the time, hopefully most of you know that by now, uh, yes, it is a red class Benchmade knife, um, very nice one at that, I do really like the knife and I like it for the price I got it for, um, running about on average $70 I found it. I've learned that, you know, when you're searching, I do probably about 98% of my knife buying on eBay. And um, before typing in, you know, you got to search a couple different ways. Um, I'll just go ahead and tell you guys right off the bat, and you already know it from the description. It's the Benchmade 10700 Nagara. Um, first typing in Benchmade Nagara, I found this knife cheapest, $70 shipped. And then I typed in you know, bench made, and then the model number, 10700, found the knife for $55 shipped. So just by typing in the model number, I got this knife for $15 cheaper than, you know, what it could be found by putting in the actual name of the knife. So, um, anyways, I'm just going to jump into some specs real quick on this. Uh, it features dual titanium uh, handle scales. It has solid stainless steel, high polish liners. Uh, it features the knack lock system, which has kind of a hook um, on the tang of the blade. I don't know if you could pick that up in the camera. I'll talk about that a little bit more later. And it locks in with that liner on top, button to release. Um, it is a drop point blade, as you can see there. Uh, the blade is 3 and 3.25 inches long. It is the thickness of this blade is 0.12 inches. The overall length of this blade, which is actually fairly long, is 7.5 inches or 7.5 inches. Close length is 4.25 inches. And the weight of the knife, considering it's uh, solid stainless steel liners and uh, titanium handles, it's not too bad. It's 3.3 ounces. Um, as you already saw, it is a red class knife. It uses a 9CR13 blade steel and uh, it is like a almost a full flat grind other than this bit of knife here it's a full flat grind all the way down to the tip so it's a good slicer it was very sharp out of the box gonna have to knock the steel a little bit but you know it is a Chinese made steel it's 9 CR 13 which uh, I've heard from a few sources that it's kind of an equivalent to an OS 8 you know the that's type of steel the OS series um, so, not amazing, um, very sharp out of the box, it cuts well, because of that sharp point, it's good to cut in first and then kind of, you know, pull along or whatever, but, um, it does get dull fairly easy, just from carrying at work for the six hours that I was there, um, I do need to touch this blade up again, so, you know, out of the box, slice of paper, no problem, now it's kind of tearing it a little bit, so, blade seal is not the best. Although, I will go ahead and tell you guys right away, um, I think of this more as a gentleman's folder, and I think the majority of people who own this knife, talk about this knife, know of this knife, consider it more of a gentleman's folder. That being said though, um, it is very nice. Um, that powder blue coating, I'm just going to have to knock, get that out of the way real quick. I bought this knife brand new, I threw it in my pocket before I went into work. Um, 30 minutes into my shift, I look at the blade scales, and uh, you're not going to be able to really pick it up in the camera because it is fairly minor, but um, maybe you could. Right there, all along the side there, you can see that it was scratched. Um, there's a few other nicks along the thumb opening hole area here. Uh, that nice powder blue finish doesn't last long at all if you're going to be carrying it or if you're going to be in a situation that's you know semi-stressful. I work in a restaurant, so it's nothing, you know, too crazy, yet the powder finish was already scratching off within, you know, 30 minutes of my shift, so if you carry this knife with anything else in your pockets, like keys or, you know, something else, or 
I don't know honestly how this scratched up. I had this in my back pocket, which was empty, yet the finish was scratched. I don't even know, maybe from my my own nails even. So that's a knock on the knife, and uh, I already said you know the blade steel is not the best. So those are the two cons in my opinion. Um, Tip, tip up carry, the knife comes for right side. It is adjustable for left and right, tip up carry only. So it does give you that option. The pocket clip is very nice, sits well, it slides in very smooth with the titanium handles. And the, the clip, as you can see, is high polished. Same with the blade and the you know, liners. Does have a lanyard hole if you, you know, if you dig line, uh, lanyards and whatnot. It's a three screw construction, one, two, three, and a torque screw bits um, tension can be you know adjusted with the torque screw this right here that is not a screw that is indeed the release button as you can see it raises out when the blades open and you can see that liner that pops out from the side of the the knife push it down and you can that exposes that hook you can see there so when that blade comes over the detent and lands it's going to let the liner release over and hooking that together um, I mean a uh, Kind of a lame little drawing, real quick, of what the um, Mac system looks like. So, you have that button here that you depress, and that pushes this um, liner back into the handles, which allows that you know hooked blade tang to drop free downwards. But if you were to let go of the button and you just open it normally, this liner here is going to push out into that um, hooking, you know, hooking into the blade. So uh, that is the knack lock system, kind of like hooks together as you can see there so just by pressing down that button it's gonna push this liner back into the handle allowing this you know hook to be free and swing back down so you know kind of as illustrated knife opens 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 uh, that hook is exposed and then that liner clicks in and so by pressing down that the liner goes back into the lock and you can freely close it um, I was very impressed with the opening of this knife. As you can see, it's dual stump thuds, <laughs> stud thumbs, thumb studs, um, lightning fast deployment. I mean, this thing shoots out as if it were assisted by a spring or something. I am just, I am baffled with how uh, how quick this knife opens when you get your thumb in there. Um, probably the quickest knife I own um, that's not assisted. Um, it's just so smooth. The the smoothness in the knife is just buttery. I love it. So opening this knife is very fun, just because of how you know you can open it smooth and nice and slow if you like. Or this one you just want to flick out, especially because of that long slim blade. Kind of reminds me of stiletto like. Um, once again, classify it more as a gentleman's folder. I you know put this blade through cardboard and some thicker plastic wraps and cords and stuff and. The blade dulled, I mean, after six hours of use, this thing tears paper rather than slices through it like it did out of the box. So uh, I am going to have to touch this up, but, um, you know, kind of compare it to the Cenofon A3, just because I, you know, call both of these gentlemen's folders. You can see how thin this knife is in the pocket. This one is heavier than the FRN handled, of course. This one has the hollow grind versus the flat, but, um, you know, both very nice knives and qualify both of these gentlemen's folders. And uh, the powder blue coating is is nice until you scratch it up or get, um, you know, it's kind of hard to see, but you almost get kind of a brownish oily residue on this just from your natural, you know, oils from your fingers. So that's kind of annoying, but overall, a very nice knife. And uh, I did get this for 55 shipped versus that, you know, cheap or, you know, mostly regarded price as $70. So, uh, Kind of dragging on now, the sickness and whatnot is kind of kicking in. But anyways, this is the Benchmade Nagara model number 10700. I'm impressed by the knife. I do like it for $55. Very nice buy. And um, you know, although I love Spyderco and the majority of my money goes to them, I will branch out into some different knives. You know, once the the money is allotted and I find a knife that is attractive enough so all in all model 10700 benchmade red class Nagara there you go guys